All right, this build has been a real roller coaster ride. And I consider roller coaster rides fun. So we're gonna start on a good note. I was able to save that paint by putting it directly under the fan due to the high humidity. It's dry as a bone, it's ready to go. I need to do some clear coating. Look at the flakes in that paint. This is the first coat. Looking good. And here's after four coats. And here's after a disaster. The hood was about to fall off of my stick and I tried to readjust it and messed up the clear coat. Had to start all over again. But in the meanwhile, I decided to address that crack I got on the other side of that elf. Super clean did his job. And I fixed that elf. But this is the time I'm just gonna put the hood to the side. You know how sometimes you gotta put it away for a minute? So you don't cause further disaster? That's where me and this hood is at right now. Great engine. Did some research on the Ford, cause they don't give me any color schemes in the directions. And it's a blue engine, it's 351 V8. Looks fantastic. That's a pretty hefty transmission. That probably explains why this Bronco has so much torque and it's a great 4x4 machine. I really didn't have a lot of problems putting this engine together. Really simple. These parts don't go in the engine to after the engine's already been installed in the Bronco. Doing a little touch up painting. I'm not wiring the engine this time. I don't like the clearance I got from the distributor with the air filter. Well, I got the build on track. The clear coat has been sitting up on the body for a good seven days. The engine's completely assembled. Now I gotta worry about that hood. I went ahead and sprayed it again with my metallic silver with the pearl mist, and it's been setting up. And believe it or not, I got that crack on the other side of the elf repaired. If you learn anything from this particular episode, I hope you learn you never give up. It's just the army way for me. Failure's never an option. At all. And I'm just doing some dry brushing here. It's a little time consuming. But if you take your time, you can have some good results. Wow. Full recovery.